All right, welcome back everybody. And for our final video on this getting started uh, kind of with a screen game project with our, our collecting thing, we've got score, we've got things falling from the sky. You can, uh, you can pick them up and uh, we have no purpose to the game, but we also have no way of really controlling this. At the moment, I'm pressing left or right or W and A in order to um, move side to side on the screen, which uh, is great if I'm on a keyboard, but on a giant touch screen or on your phone, you will notice you don't have those uh, options available to you. So if you're wanting to create a game that is uh, useful for either just a mobile environment or a touch screen environment, or for both, you're going to need those options available to you. And uh, I'm just playing really slowly here, but uh, that's fine. It's just going to bring up the... There we go. Uh, so, yeah, at the moment there, we've got this kind of feature here with my keyboard. Um, and there's the things falling from the sky. And But again, I need some way of controlling this that's, that's different than my keyboard input. So, uh, the easiest way is some kind of touch screen. Now, this goes into some of the design perspectives. Uh, and I want you to think about that as you are designing. Uh, your game, how do you let the player know, how do you let the user know uh, about the, the user interface? How, where are you telling them what they're doing touching? Now, it should be intuitive, um, but it isn't always, but I'm, I'm not going to delve too much in there. Let's talk more about the technical or mechanics of it. So in this case, I'm not going to make a new scene for my controls, although maybe if I'm reusing it on multi-levels, I could do that. Uh, I'm just going to do it right here. And I'm going to realize that I can move left and right, but I also might want some, I don't know, buttons or control system or something that's going to uh, allow me to move this left and right. And uh, I'll, again, let you figure out the best way for that to look. Uh, but let's see how we're going to do it. So we are going to add a new node to level one. Uh, in this case, we're going to use what's called a uh, touch screen button. So you may have previously made buttons in order to launch here, but we have a specific touchscreen button uh, for gameplay use. So this is a really, really handy little feature uh, designed just for this. And I'm going to start off with giving it a name. This button is going to make the player move to the right. So I'm going to I'm going to just call it uh, Move Right. Is a great one here. Uh, at the moment, you don't really see anything because touchscreen buttons may or may not have a graphical appearance. You may just have an area that you're 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 pressing on and maybe there's a graphic underneath it or we can add graphics to them if we want but uh let's look at how we just basically build this uh at the moment here it needs a shape we need to know what area of the touch screen we're going to do uh you can see there's a bunch of options over here but there's also shape this is very similar to uh making the collision masks that we did before you can pick any of those collision mask shapes in this case i think i'll go for just a giant rectangle uh, and you, if you zoom in, you'll be able to see there's the starting one. So that's obviously way, way too tiny. Uh, and what I'd like to do is make it a lot bigger. And if you just click on that shape, you can actually set the size here. So right now it's 20 by 20, which is pretty tiny. So I'm going to go 200 by, I don't know, let's see, we well, can see how wide it is there. Let's go uh, 800 and see how big that is. Yeah, that looks pretty good for now. Um, and I'm just going to drag this thing down. Let me grab my move tool and uh, oops, I'll grab the wrong thing scoreboard here. Let's grab the move right. And I can just kind of pull that to an area. I can make it however big I want it. It's going to be big enough for now. I think somewhere around the middle of my screen. Um, <clears throat> now, now that you've said this, this is the area that when we touch this, uh, I'm going to move to the left or the right. And again, if you wanted to add some kind of graphic to this as well, you'll see there is a texture normal and a texture pressed here. And if you click that, you can you can add a new image texture. So you could bring in a picture, or you could bring in gradient things, or you could make any of these options available to you. I'm just going to leave it as nothing at the moment, uh, but I just want you to be aware of them. The other thing we need to do is essentially uh, how do I know what happens when I press this? Well, this is the beauty of the touch screen button. Essentially, all you do is make a button and then you say what action is going to get triggered 
uh, when I press this. And if you'll remember going back, we have our input map. These are all actions we made. I made a left action and a right action. So all I have to do is to say, when I press this, I want to do whatever I did when I pressed the left or the right, whether it's my move right button, although I should be on the right-hand side then. Um, <clears throat> I just have to say the action is right. So it will be the exact same thing as if I press the key that triggers that action. When I press this button, it triggers that action as well. So um, let's just uh, quickly duplicate that. So I'm just going to duplicate this. And instead of a move right, I'll make this other one a move left. And obviously over here, let's change that to a left. And I will grab it and move that one over there. So I've got my two. Um, you've got it currently visible. It's always visible. Um, let's give a little look and see if it works. So the idea is this one I press left. This one I whoop, click and it will trigger the, the right action. This one will trigger the left action. And if I play my game, let's see what happens. I'll give you a hint. It's not going to work the first time because there's one more setting we need to do. But I wanted to show you that uh, a really common problem that people have uh, when we're, we're building this and testing it out. And in fact, if I were to put this onto my phone, uh, it, it would indeed work at the moment. Oh, boy, we are slowly loading. Uh, however, when we're on our computer, we've, we've got a little bit of an issue here. So, um, well, I guess it depends on the computer you're on. In fact, if you had a touch screen, so if I press left here, you, first of all, I can't see the buttons. Remember, I didn't make any visibility, but I know they're around here. So if I were to click them, I would assume they would work um, with my mouse. I don't currently have a touch screen computer. So these buttons aren't working because they are only designed to work with a touch screen. Um, and a mouse click is not the same as a touch screen input. So uh, for your debugging and designing purposes, um, you may want to, <clears throat> or you will want to go up to your project settings. Under general, you will find, if we scroll down here, pointing device, input devices pointing. And you'll see here we emulate mouse from touch is turned on. So if I'm on a touch screen and I press it, that's the same as clicking something. But what I haven't turned on here is emulate touch from mouse. So basically, if the mouse clicks something, that's like I am touching it. So I'm going to turn that on and then close this. And now if we play, um, Again, we're still not gonna be able to see them, but if you want, you may uh, you may either turn them on or we can make visible collision shapes, or you may wanna add some kind of picture. The question being is how do you want to let people know this is a place to click uh, without making it look not very nice? And you may wanna develop some kind of graphical gamepad or something like that. But you can see now if I click left, I click right, uh, it works just fine. Oh, come on, get there. Um, like so. And I can also still on my keyboard, uh, press the left and the right if I want to, it will still work. Uh, that might be a feature you don't necessarily want. So uh, one of the nice parts here is you can also make these visible or work uh, on touch screen only or always. At the moment, they're always on, so it's working for my desktop, but we can turn them on only with a touch screen. Uh, which might be handy so that if you do make a game that is both for a mobile or touchscreen device and for the desktop, they're not able to click the screen or do something incorrect uh, for that. But there are our two different things. Again, I would suggest maybe adding some kind of graphic or something like that. And if you want to see that, what it looks like, let's say we do move to the left here, I can do a new image texture. Um, and all I need to do is say, I'd have a graphic. I can grab that and drag it right there. And you can see that up comes uh, almost like an icon, if you will, that appears inside. And again, it's 
part of the button now, so I could maybe have a left arrow or something to indicate that this was the left pressing area and this was the right pressing area. Um, at the moment, I'm just going to get rid of that, uh, reset that. And you can also notice that you've got a texture pressed, so you can have this like a, a button, like in you know, a web design where you have it normal, and then when you click it, it can change to let the player know there's a little bit of feedback. So there you go. Now you have the ability to create uh, buttons that trigger actions, and now you are well on your way to uh, designing a touchscreen or mobile device game.